Silence from the governor's office today after former President Donald Trump ripped into his GOP colleague in a statement last night. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. Welcome to ABC Action News at 6. President Trump, who's expected to announce a second bid for president next week, alleged Governor Ron DeSantis was disloyal. Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders tells us some see the attack as the start of the 2024 presidential primary. After days of national attention for his re-election Tuesday and buzz that a presidential run will follow. Everybody loves him, so why not? Governor Ron DeSantis on blast in this 475-word statement from Donald Trump. Trump calls the governor an average Republican and alleges he's disloyal for not clearly dismissing a White House run after Trump gave DeSantis a 2018 endorsement. Quote, Ron DeSanctimonious is playing games. I'm going to be making a very big announcement. It comes as Trump is set to officially launch a new presidential bid next week. Political communications expert Josh Gacko thinks Trump's statement days before is an early attempt at clearing the primary field. What you see here is former President Trump, who's looking to launch a bid for the White House, is beginning the process of defining his likely opponents. Despite repeated requests for comment from the governor's office, we're just getting crickets at the moment, and Skako thinks it'll stay that way for now, commenting detracts from positive press on election success and hurricane recovery. It's the same for many other Republicans across the state, not wanting to get between the two Florida dynamos. You know, I can understand Donald Trump feels very betrayed and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Former state rep Anthony Sabatini is not among them, however. The firebrand who supports both politicians says he's signing with Trump on this one. He's got more energy and focus now than he's ever had. I think he's definitely ready to win. I like Ron DeSantis, but I think he should run in a different election cycle. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.